Hey, hello and welcome. Uh, this game is loading. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted the title screen. This is cool. Very cool. Very cool video game. Yeah. Also, if you're wondering why that sounds like it should, like, like if, if you think that sounds different, it's because I have the Deluxe Edition. Which has a bunch of different voices that read out the game's title at the start of the game. <sighs> We're gonna not continue. Um, I am uh, up to mission 16 uh, in my normal game, but I'm gonna start from the beginning again tonight. Um, do I need to go through the history of Devil May Cry? I don't know. I will on request. I will every so often I will say, hey, does anyone want to see the history of Devil May Cry? And then I will do that. Um, but in the meantime... Uh, it's not necessary to know the history of the series to catch up to this. All you need to know is that Dante is a devil hunting badass. Nero is not the whiny, annoying kid he was in Devil May Cry 4. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh, hey, um, so a couple of things on this uh, screen that are worth talking about too. Um, the gallery has a bunch of really cool stuff. It lets you... Uh, I'll, I'll dive into the gallery and take sh take a quick look at some stuff. There's some cool stuff in here. Um, also, I'm wearing diff different glasses tonight, just in case everyone uh, notices. I The other glasses I was wearing, the ones um, from uh, the last couple of nights, because I got new glasses on the weekend. I got two pairs of new glasses on the weekend. Um, the other glasses I was wearing uh, hurt my ears a lot when I wear these headphones with them, and I wanted to see if that would not be a problem with these glasses. So, this is the gallery. You have Nico's reports. She has character reports. These are reports on every character. So you have Nero, one arm Nero, and a bunch of other stuff. And you can see all these characters here. Um, and there is probably some mild spoilers in this, so I'm not going to go too deep into them, but it has full character models, shows different forms, all that good stuff. Same with enemies, shows uh, all the enemies and the bosses and all that. I'm not going to go into that because there are mild spoilers. The red... Nero's weapons, Dante's weapons. Um, so most of Nero's weapons are these cool looking arm things. Um, but it only goes through s some of the arms, not all of them. There is a reason for that. Um, Dante, there's uh, a bunch of stuff here that Dante has access to. I think some I don't have, and oh my god, this hat though. And V, who just has his cane. Um, and then there's reports on the gorbs, the robs, gorbs, warbs, blobs, porbs, and gorbs. Grobs. Gorbs. It's not, not a very... It, it's not a very good naming convention, okay? Action reports. Oh, these are all the moves that we can unlock for everyone. I've got a fair bunch of these unlocked. We're going to be starting with most of them unlocked, because I'm not starting a fresh file. Um, because that would be insane. Um, got Morrison's letters, so that that's important for that thing. There are profiles on uh, characters that aren't in the game, like Kyrie, uh, who gets sandbagged hard in this game. She gets like mentioned. No, she, you she gets one voice line in the game and doesn't even have a character model. Patty, who is apparently from the Devil May Cry anime. Um, and then there's documents on various things. Oh, actually, I unlocked a document on Fortuna. That's neat. Okay. There's this option here, which I suspect doesn't unlock till I beat the game. There's also the, um, the videos. And this is how I can get to the History of DMC video. Um, these play all the cutscenes. Uh, so that's neat. And obviously I'm up to yeah, a fair way in. Um, but video 3 has pre-viz versions of these cutscenes. Um, so I'm just going to run this because this is moderately hilarious. If you, if you haven't seen the full cutscene, you'll get to see it shortly. But these pre-viz cutscenes contain um, uh, the intro to the game. This is a cutscene that plays near the start of the game. Basically what it is, is that they're, this is all the development team, they're all sort of lining themselves up to get um, the, so that when they go to do the actual rendering of the cutscene, um, 
you know, all this stuff is sort of in place and they know where to put everything and make it all work. And you can actually set the game to play these in place of the real cutscenes, which is pretty nifty. <laughs> So I don't know if these are like the development team or the voice actors in some cases. I think it might be a combination of both. The other thing too with these is that there are... <laughs> there are some, um... Uh, some interesting differences in some of these cutscenes too. Um, I'm gonna back out of that one because I think it's the next one that's the interesting one. Um, the PlayStation's complaining because I ain't book scenes. Um, where is it? That's the one at the start of Mission 1. Yeah, this one. Um, so this cutscene is hilarious to watch in our uh, pre-biz. Uh, I've actually seen the pre-biz version of this. Yes, yeah, so... <laughs> You'll see what this looks like uh, when we get up to it. Um, which won't be too long now, but I just thought I'd show this off because it's freaking funny as hell. And, uh, and, and it's kind of cool because it shows the effort that they go to. Yeah, yeah, it's just radio on a box. It, it shows sort of what you need to do, what's involved in creating something like this, where you need to need to get the because you need to know what the camera shots are going to be, um, what the angles are going to be, how that's going to look. Um, I, I love that they're kind of sort of dressed like the characters too, which I think is pretty funny. I'm not sure if these are the voice actors for the Japanese version. Uh, we'll be playing in English, by the way, uh, for this game. The, to me, Devil May Cry is a game that should be played in English, because I think Ruben Langdon's uh, work as Dante is amazing. Um, and uh, various other things. Um, I, I may one day play through this game in Japanese, but... I know the game does have Japanese audio. I might do it like one day if I'm just gonna blow through the game just to see what the Japanese are like. But I think I definitely prefer the English. Um, I don't even know much about the Japanese voice cast for this game. I love how she doesn't like the cigarette. <laughs> He's blowing the smoke away because he does not like smoking. So when we get to this cutscene, which we will get to pretty soon, you'll, you'll understand. Uh, you'll understand what what's actually meant to be going on here. <laughs> the shooting effect is still there though. I love they've actually made that. <laughs> Man, this is really funny. And as I said, this you can actually have these replace the real cutscenes. So this part is actually slightly different in the final game, because in the final game he actually lights the cigarette for her, rather than having her light it herself. And she, she's being really careful about not actually lighting that cigarette. So yeah, that, that's what the previous cutscenes look like. Um, they're pretty fun. And yeah, it comes up with the thing there. Oh, it even uses the original logo, oh man. I never noticed that on the on the van that it had the original uh, text logo. That's really cool. Okay, we're gonna get into the game now. That, that's some good fun. Ah, oh, there was one option there I forgot before we backed out. The jukebox option. I was gonna show that off. Damn. Uh, I'll hop back into the gallery and we'll just quickly show that off. Because it's the jukebox. It's really cool. So again, the jukebox is something you don't get in you need the deluxe edition to fully get this so the jukebox has all the music in the game or most of the music in the game it has it 
freaking love this song. But it also has the other version of Subhuman. So, for those who aren't aware, Subhuman is a song by a band whose lead singer turned out to be a raging pedophile. Um, and they had to replace it because he'd gone to jail for that kind of thing. Um, and I believe this version is by a different artist or a different band. It's still the same song, but yeah. Um, and Crimson Cloud, which I re really, this song really grew on me. This is the combat music that plays, um, for V. Um, but the interesting thing here is that you can actually change... So we can have... Devil May Cry 1 music. And you can actually set this to play um, for... You, you can actually set this to play for different characters. So I could set this for Dante. As, as you saw, there's a... Um, you can actually hide the menu too, which is kind of neat. Um, there's a, uh, there are options here to have it play you know, for Dante instead of his DMC5 music. That's true for all of these. You can have any one of these songs play um, for any of them. So you got Nero's combat music from 4. Um, which isn't bad actually. I, ne I, I never minded that song. It's it's alright. It's alright. It has its moments. Um, and you got, yeah, bur Burial Fire and a couple other bits of pieces. You also have, however, Stylish Rank Voices. Now, what this is... Um, is when I and let me answer my text messages. Um, what this is is the voices um, that play, and basically uh, there'll be different variations of this. So I'm going to have this turned on through the game so that we get the variations because they're really neat. And the title voice is what happened at the title screen. I loaded up the title screen. Basically, there are different voices that can play at the title screen. So if I back all the way out. So we'll drop out of there, and I'll drop right back to the title screen, just so we can have that happen again. We go back, return to title screen, and it should verify information, connect to network, reticulate splines, all that good stuff. Um, and once it's done that, reticulate splines, move fast baby, don't be slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, a network error occurred. Awesome! Awesome, we're off to a great start. That's why it took so long. And if we listen... Give it a moment. That's a different voice to what it was before. Anyway, we're going to uh, go back to the main menu and we're going to start from the beginning, from chapter one. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to play the game this time. So I need to need to go into the mission select and just dump all the way back up. Uh, we're going to play on Devil Hunter because I haven't actually beaten the game. I haven't unlocked any of the harder difficulties. Look at my terrible, terrible ranks. Um, that's because I did these missions without anything unlocked. Never thought I'd like this game as much as I do, loving Nico already. Yeah, Nico's fantastic. Nico and, uh... I, I think my favourite character in the game is actually V. Um, I really like V. Um, I, I made a tweet before where I basically put, um, all the sort of combat characters in the game into a band. Um, it grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright. And so this was what was happening in that previews that I showed off just before. Um, the first of the two previews as we watched. I hope I have subtitles turned on. I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I remember to do that. I find it really interesting this game wants to be very specific about the time that everything takes place. We've known each other a long time. You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this, Dante? I 
can't believe all these nothing nobody random background characters get play get player models and Kyrie doesn't. <laughs> yeah, Kyrie gets sandbagged so hard in this game. Like, she gets what, one voiced line of dialogue? Unless there's one at the end that I don't know about. I haven't beaten the game yet, so. He's got this. I'm up to like mission 16. Um, so that's where I am not generally. Underestimate this demon. After all, it was he who took your right arm and gained a great deal of power from it. I'm leaving. So I am going to do a full LP of this, but I'm going to do it once a week, so it's going to take quite a few weeks to get through the whole game. Basically, Thursday nights will be DMC nights for the next few weeks. Okay, V. You're an interesting guy, but you're right. 20 or 21 missions, so you're almost there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling I was pretty close to the end. I debated whether to play this on, like, human for streaming purposes, but I'm like, eh, I've got a lot of abilities, and I do okay enough at, um, at Devil Hunter. Like, I, I haven't actually even tried the game on human. Um, I've got no money anyway, so we're just going to start the mission. Um, as I said, I've got most stuff unlocked for, I've actually got a lot unlocked for Nero. Um, I've got... I've got most of V's uh, stuff unlocked, actually, probably more than any other character. So, I love his always emo. <laughs> yeah. I love how everyone saw V and they were just like, "It's Kylo Ren." It's just Kylo Ren. Dante. So. Yeah. So if you're playing this game for the first time, this section will have uh, tutorial stuff in it that doesn't appear if you play through the mission again. Which is really nice, I really appreciate they do that, where like it's like, hey, you, you know all this stuff already, you've got all these abilities unlocked, just, just go for it, just kill things. Bet I can't max act the taunt. I don't have max act, so that's not going to happen right now. Um... I could take you with no odds. So the one thing we don't have access to right now is um, uh, the the arms. So as you can see, Nero has one arm. Later on, he'll get a lot more. Um, he'll get a lot more arms. V. And I don't mean that in a Mortal Kombat Goro sense of arms either. Devil Breakers. Yes. Yes. These things are annoying. These things basically just heal enemies. Um, and I love that the game shows you this. It doesn't tell you, oh hey, kill these things, they're going to heal enemies. It just gives you that little cutscene. You see the enemy drop the health on, it's like, okay, that's what these guys do, I should definitely deal with them. I can't even do, uh, grab. But I do have air hike, so that's something, right? You know what I keep forgetting? Nero doesn't have Helmbreaker. See, you heard it then. Um, that that's uh, one of the random alternative voices that can play. Understand? We cannot hope to do this without you. When you rank up your style. Go on with your best. Go ahead. We got this. Mega Buster only. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all Mega Buster all the time. You know what? It's probably possible. Like, Mega Buster is pretty strong. Um, like, I think there's a few parts of the game, like, there's a few sort of secret areas and stuff that you need. Um, uh, I, I know there's one secret area that requires either Gerbera or, um, uh, what's the rocket launching one that I've got the name of? Um, do I not have my, um, what's Dante's Stinger called? Do I not have my stinger attack here? I don't seem to. Because Dante does have a dash forward, doesn't he? 
So I'm getting better at, um, I'm getting better at that. Um, swinging and hitting L2 to, um, activate the Exceed. But I, I, like I said, I don't have Max Act unlocked, so it's basically gonna be level 1 Exceeds all the time. No, I am not going to try and actually beat this. You can beat this, you get a cool, you get a hilarious alternative ending if you do. It's like getting, like, one of the joke endings from Nier Automata. Um, I'm not gonna try and do that. This guy looks freaking cool, though. I'm not locking on. You're right, I am not locking on. That's what the problem is. Well, looks like this won't be a total waste of time after all. Hey, jackass! Did your mother ever teach you it's not nice to steal? Sorry, Dante. The detail on these character models, the cutscene character models, I'm looks fantastic. Like, the amount of polygons in their faces is just so good. Ah, that's right, yeah, lock on tour. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what it is. Okay. The streak's really handy when you don't have grab. But you can see here that the the thing you're supposed the thing you've got to fight you can't even fight the boss so basically you can't even um, you can't even actually fight the boss which I think is really neat um, you have to fight this thing but you're not even supposed to win this battle although I might come close with the amount of health I have. And, uh, <laughs> I don't think I will. No, I'm not even. I was about to say I'm not even halfway, but I am halfway. I better not beat the boss because that would be that would be embarrassing. We'll do what we can. Really, all just attacks from other bosses. I hadn't noticed that. Eat that crystal. <laughs> I do love that it's a possible to beat it, and b there's an actual ending for the game if you do it. Also, is it just me, or does Dante look more and more like Ruben Langdon with every game? Get her out of here! This is a bad move! I can still fight! Go! You're just dead weight! Back up! Dante looks like Dave Hughes. <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> oh man, you are not wrong. Dante does look a bit like Dave Hughes. Yeah, I can imagine that. I, c I can absolutely see what you're getting at with that one. There was someone else I saw. I, I was watching something and uh, someone showed up in it and he looks like the dude. No, it wasn't. The no, you know what it was? Um, you're all that can defeat yours. It was... Um, there's a new show that's got Steve Buscemi in it, and Dante looks a bit like Steve Buscemi in that show. That's the name of it. It's called uh, Miracle War Workers. Steve Buscemi plays God. 
And it's got some, um, because it's got some um, uh, Harry Potter in it as well. Yeah, the one with Daniel Radcliffe, yeah. Yeah, Miracle Workers is fun. Like, it's not, not super deep, compelling television, but it's good fun. Um, definitely worth watching. I've watched, like, three or four episodes of it, I think. Anyway, things didn't go well. And yeah, there, you can totally see him riding out on, um... Uh... Oh... Getting the names of everything tonight. On his devil trigger. What On V's devil trigger. Where's Dante? He's buying time, but it doesn't look good. Nightmare, that's its name, yeah. yeah. I kept thinking it was called Colossus for some reason. Dante <laughs> lost. I haven't played this game in two days, okay? There's nothing we can do. Actually, that's a lie. I did play it yesterday. For some reason, this reminds me of um, that first mission in the original Mass Effect, where they all the people get impaled on the uh, Geth spikes. They're similar to that, except the spikes look way more demonic, and and it's not actually like that at all, really. Because I'm playing on PS4, there are going to be weird delays at the end there. Look at my trash style. Yeah. It actually legit takes effort to do um, to do style in that game. On GDNA. Oh yeah, I should explain the online thing. I, I, I know most of the people in the chat know, but for anyone watching this in the future on YouTube... Pardon me, on YouTube. Um... This game has an online uh, thing where, as you play through certain missions, um, the other characters will show up, and you can actually see them fighting. And what the game does is it basically takes data from other players and uses that for the characters in those missions. It's kind of like, I think, it kind of works like how Drivatars work in the Forza series. Um, it's not unlike that. Anyway, this is the cutscene that we uh, that we watched the previews for uh, before, so you can actually see what it really looks like now. I think this is such a great introduction to the game to this. As a result of a mysterious tree that apparently yeah. attacked the city approximately one So it's sometimes ghosts and sometimes players. So is it actual player data or is it just like a an AI that's using player data to inform its moves? Your match with your own ghost. That happened to Maximilian dude. Um I was watching him play it the other day and uh the ghost came up and it was him. As his own ghost. Hey, I'm glad we're getting personal. Well, he abandoned my mother and I and left us for dead. I feel nothing. Well, he's not exactly going up for Father of the Year Award now, is he? His research wasn't half bad. Came in handy. Mildly, thank you for that. Ner Nero hates smoking because let's all, let's all remember. In, d in the Devil May Cry universe, you don't have to smoke to be cool. Hey, Nico! Don't lose your tits. I see him. Let's take a moment to appreciate how freaking amazing this opening credit sequence is, too. <laughs> Gonna ruin my crew! I love that. I love in the previews how there's actually a stick there attached to the steering wheel rig so for that windscreen wiper scene too.
pay attention to that diverted traffic sign. You ever stop to think about just how massive Nico's van is? It is. It, the wheelbase is insane how long it is. Like, the thing must corner like a truck. Because it basically is. Also, I wonder where you get Devil May Cry branded tyres from. The van is effectively a cartoon car, though. It surfaces like jaws. There's <laughs> also the cutscene where the van does a complete, completely crashes in, rolls over like four or five times, lands upright, and is completely fine. The thing is, though, like I, I've seen a lot of people say that like Nico has complete control of the van, but you watch. There's a couple of moments where you realize that Nico is barely, barely holding it together with the van. Like, th there is a particular moment where you realise that what the van did scared the crap out of her. And she does everything she can to hide that from Nero. Um, I, we may or may not get to that scene tonight, I'll point it out if we do. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're playing Devil May Cry 5. If I was making YouTube videos, I probably would have used that to make some kind of cool intro in After Effects. But I don't do stuff like that anymore. I should. I should do that. Hold the line! Yeah, there is a five on the back of the van. I noticed that the other day. Um, looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah, there's a five there, huh? Just, you know, match the theme of the game. What's also, I don't know if you have noticed this, but when you call the van, they actually dial the number on the side. I was paying very close attention to the buttons. I think I was watching V do it. I was paying very close attention to the buttons he was pressing on the phone. He actually dials the, um, uh, whatever the number on the side of the van is. You look like you need a hug, but you're not gonna get one from me. Better get lost. Hey, who are you? Hey, you're gonna get yourself killed! Don't crap yourself. Hey, one of the most WTF is the normal world like games, yeah. You hear what I said, you dumb one armed son of a bitch? You're gonna die! Cheer up, crew cut. You taking notes? The van a franchise of the Dante's main store. Yeah, Nero. Yeah, da Dante decided to franchise out Devil May Cry. <laughs> you know what? That would actually be perfect for Dante. I'm sure there'll be a pop vinyl of the van at some point in the future. Um, yeah, we'll just start this mission as well. Oh, look. <laughs> I just saw I didn't... Oh, well. Devil Breakers are plentiful in this mission anyway. It's not a big deal. I've got some cleaning up to do. The good news, though, is that we don't just have the Devil Breaker. We also have, if I hit the button, the grab, which is really important. It's amazing how much more fun this game is um, when you have a lot of the moves unlocked, particularly these early missions. Like having the moves unlocked in these early missions feels like cheating sometimes. Yeah, he's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well functioning arm <laughs> to kick demon ass. I think for me that's Nico's defining character scene. Hey, Psycho! What's the merchandise? Hey, stop bitching and take cover! <laughs> 
Um, no, Nero had, um, Nero had the, the grabbing DMC4, he could do that, yeah, for sure. Like, he used his devil arm thing to do it. Or are you talking about, um, something else? Helps for lock on it. Anyway, let's get a devil arm. Uh, there's nothing else back there that I missed just then, though. Not a huge amount of exploration in this mission. And yes, I've already got the blob that's uh, just up ahead a little bit, so. No, he could definitely pull pull enemies towards him in DMC4. So I, I can remember doing that back when I played that game, and I, I'm pretty sure I was watching because I was watching um, the Best Friends LP of that not long ago, and um, I'm pretty sure he did that. Why am I still standing here? We want to get over here. <laughs> We want to kill this guy because these guys are worth huge amounts of orbs. They're basically crystal lizards. Damn it! There we go. What did she say, baller? Out of the way! So I'm just going to go over here for a second, partly because there's a uh, there's an uh, there's a uh, breaker over here, but partly because normally in this area where that red orb would be, there would be a blue orb fragment, um, and of course you want to collect those. Okay, it's everyone's favourite breaker. It is the Mega Buster. This is a uh, special edition or deluxe edition only item, um, and it is of course Mega Man's arm. Why are they collecting you? There's another big boss around there. I think. No, you can't actually jump around there. There's an invisible barrier. You have to go around the other side. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, Me Mega Buster only any percent run begins now, by the way. So the neat thing with the Mega Buster is that it will actually change... Um, pick that one up as well. Is, is it actually changes his jump animation. I'll try and get a good shot of it. These fall anime... Oh no, I, I picked up Sweet Surrender. Um, um, this is awkward. What a lovely house, Platt. You sworn at you. Well done. Oh yeah, I'll I'll, I'll allow that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the the auto mod is on slightly tighter than usual. So yeah. Dumb jumping animation. And, and, and so Mega Buster has Mega Man's jumping animation and the slide animation, which is hilarious. I gave you that one. Damn it. Cool, I now have a vibrating arm. I love how the game is very explicit about the original purpose of Sweet Surrender. It is in fact used for massaging Kiryu's back. I should try and get out of the way of those, eh? 
So fun fact, Nero has about 10 frames of uh, invulnerability on his jump. Um, I believe they're at the start of the jump. Um, but you can effectively use Nero, um, Nero's jump as uh, a dodge. Also, you know what else I'm not using? Exceed. There we go. Yeah, back. Nico's got a girl covered. <laughs> the fact that one of the animations for the hand is it literally vibrating up and down. Hey, tough guy. That'll keep him, but not for long. What do you mean? The soldier boy said city's gone to hell and back, taken over by the underworld. Not just here, but everywhere. Everywhere. Yamato did this. So I feel like I should introduce Combat Punny to the other people in chat. The, the other people in chat, um, Shambrook and KWC10, are people I hang out with in a Facebook group. Um, just so that my, my girlfriend knows what that's all about. Hey! Are we, are we ready for it? Are we ready for Kyrie's only line in the whole game? Nico, I showed you those order docs. So you still owe me, remember? Be right there! There it was. Blink and you miss it. That was Kyrie's one line in the whole game. I'll try to save you some. Not. Did Nero have a lizard arm? Oh, she does get a second line in the final mission. Okay, yeah. Well, there we go. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's ever explained how Nero gets... Is it ever explained? I mean, I know it's the Yamato. But I don't know if it's ever explained what he had before he got his devil arm. What is it? You hungry? <laughs> well, you're in luck, pal, because food's ready and Kitty always makes too much. Hope you like loud talkers, too, because you got a pair of those upstairs. You see something you like. What the hell? You a demon? Oh, well, she actually does have a second line now. What that? Also, it took me like three times watching this cutscene to realize that the arm actually comes off when he throws him. He actually throws him so hard that the arm just rips off during the throw. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, the demon arm isn't originally. Yeah, no, you're right too. The demon arm isn't originally the Yamato. The Yamato comes later. And yeah, yeah, I remember now. No, we're not going to spoil who that is. I actually got spoiled on. Um, well, specifically, I guess, who that is, but also who, um, who V is, um, about a day before He's the game launched. Someone I knew had a review copy, so they, they knew, they were able to spoil it, which is great. Yeah, it's Mundus, yeah, that's exactly who it is. <laughs> yeah, imagine if the bad guy in this game was Dante from Devil May Cry 4. Wow, look at look at that hitting S rank by exactly one stylish point. <laughs> Put don't take into the main cannon. <laughs> so I, I, as I was saying before, um, I I made a tweet before I put all the characters into a band. Um, and obviously Dante would be lead vocalist, um, and possibly also rhythm guitarist on some tracks. Nero would obviously be the lead guitarist. Um, Trish is obviously the bass player. V is obviously the keyboardist. And, um, Lady would obviously be the drummer. So. 
That's how I imagine the, uh, that's how I imagine the, uh, visual K-band that is the Devil May Cry crew, anyway. Oh, and Morrison left us a letter. Um, so it's been 30 years. Uh, you're heading back to Redgrave. Uh, I got a few leads. Can't exactly say how they'll be useful to you. First time I met Dante, he actually went by a different name, Tony Redgrave. But that got your attention. Redgrave, Redgrave City, coincidence or something more? Um, yeah, if you're heading in that direction, you might be able to learn the truth yourself. So I'm going to tell you everything I know about Dante. So, a whole bunch of letters unlock as you play through the game in the gallery section. You can completely miss them. The other thing with the van. How the hell does everything stay locked down? What does Lucia play? Uh, Lucia is the manager. And Nico is obviously the tour bus driver. Um, I've got some cash money, so I am going to drop into the customized menu, but I don't think I can afford anything. Lucia would have to be the manager. Well, I was thinking Kyrie could be the manager, but I, I had actually forgotten about the existence of Lucia when I made this up. Because I've seen literally like 10 minutes of DMC2. Um, I don't have enough for Calibre. I don't have enough for Max Act. I definitely probably should get Max Act at some point, right? I think I've got enough for anything. Um, what I might do is just uh, buy a bunch of uh, Devil Breakers, though. I'll do a buy in bulk. Um, and we will... Uh, I'm pretty happy with the setup I've got. It's not going to make a huge deal here. Um, I'll add some of these more esoteric ones. Actually, you know what I'll put on? I'll put a Pasta Breaker on so we can all see how cool that is. Um, and I'll throw down a buster. And I bought all the blobs and the gorbs. So, let's go back. Yeah, Punchline's really good. Punchline was the one I was thinking of before. That's the one you can ride like a rocket. You can rocket ride on it. Yeah. Um, actually, one of my favourites is Rawhide. I really like Rawhide. You should play TMC2 after this. It's incredibly bad. Anyway, let's, uh, let's press on. Rawhide's really good fun. So, I just want to make it clear, if it isn't already clear, I'm not super great at character action combat, um, and I'm much more used to the way Bayonetta plays and the way this game plays. So, don't expect, like, uh, triple S ranks all day, every day, because that's just not going to happen. Um, I can... Uh, I can bash my way through basically every mission in the game reasonably well. I'll probably die a few times because I'm bad at dodging in this game. Um, but for the most part, I will get through. And besides, Devil Hunter isn't exactly like... It, it's meant to be like the standard difficulty, but it's not exactly challenging. Like, it's no non-stop infinite climax, that's for sure. Oh hey, I did a Dante combo when I didn't need to. The orbs around here. The orbs don't look like anything like orbs. Devil May Cry is the video game series that redefines the meaning of the word orb. Oh, that's right. Street Surrender heals you, doesn't it? Yeah. Good thing I just blew it up then. Cool, we can take a look at the Mega Buster now. Because I've got like three of them. So now that we've got Megabuster on, I'll show the uh, show the crazy Megabuster animations. 
So Mega Buster changes his animation so that when he jumps, he does Mega Man's jump. Literally, it's Mega Man's jump. And when he slides, uh, I have to remember what sliding is. So, uh, he does Mega Man's slide. Which is really cool. Just turn auto on. <laughs> no. I will not turn auto on. I guess we're not going that way. Yes, we are. I'm making it easy for me. Huh? I don't break a mega buster. No, I picked up a Gerber. Anyway, I want to go around the other way, don't I? Because there's a couple of things around there, isn't there? Oh, that's right. There's uh, one of these guys here. Oh, that's right. You can't um, jump with these, can you? I was thinking about it uh, the other day, though, or well, not the other day. I was thinking about it um, not long ago that. Uh, Hey, before we go in there, isn't there an area up here that I'm missing? Like, isn't there a building I can jump into for a blob up here that I've always forgotten about? Or is that not this area? Is that later? Well, I can get over here. Ah, here. This, this is the place I can get to. He explodes like Mega Man if you die. Where's that insect? Is there not uh, somewhere I can jump up into here? No. Just a bonus combat encounter and and a gorb. Nice. Literally only realized yesterday that Nero is named after the Emperor Rome because Dante and Virgil are named after ancient poets. Aren't they? Um, like, wouldn't it be a reference to um, Dante's Inferno? Like, you know, the whole hell thing and everything. Isn't this game basically a video game adaptation of Dante's Inferno? <laughs> like, it's a better Dante's Inferno game than the Dante's Inferno game. Dante's Inferno is a self-insert fanfic of Heaven and Hell, though. Yeah, written by Dante. Yeah. Yeah, and Virgil was a yeah a poet in uh, like Roman times and stuff. So if I do this right, yeah. um, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to kill the guy. Hang on, no, i to pull back, do that, do this. So yeah, that's what I was trying to do there. So the, um, payline is designed so that if you do the air combo, right, uh, Payline is designed so that when you use it after an air combo, you knock the enemy down. It'll take you straight to where the enemy is. Virgilus was the poet and his mate who is the guy. Yeah, that's right. Ah. Also, there's a uh, nifty little secret here. If I can do this. Ah! 
Okay, this is gonna take a moment. Wow. Stand here for a second. There we go. Robs. And I'll blow up that Cobra. Literally, the only time I ever use that is either when I accidentally tap it, or oh, I don't want that Mega Buster. Megabusters. Can never have too many Mega Busters, right? Oh gods, I forgot that there's a thing that spawns here too. Yeah, we got we got to get down there because there's a thing. We need the thing. Uh oh, we're gonna lose it. I've forgotten all about this until just now. I can't. Ah, oh, it went away. See, there's a red Impusa down there that I completely forgot about. Until just now. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. So, in this cutscene, you can see uh, V fighting. Um, which is why the game loaded someone in. You can see him down there fighting away. Before you do, V. What is Devil May Cry and rewarding? And with Devil May Cry. <laughs> Joe spent two weeks modeling the statue. You'll goddamn appreciate it, yeah. yeah. It's a bit like that, like, yeah, just standing still. Apparently, there's, there's like little puddles of uh, demon goo that you just stand in, and that's. Uh, a lot of them will give you red orbs. Not all of them, but a lot of them, like, they're just these little black puddles of demon goo. Trying to stop me. Oh, whatever shall I do? Cue the, uh, obvious yeah. sexual imagery. Because what is a game about fighting demons of hell without some, uh, weird sexual imagery, right? I'm fine, don't need the Gobra. Wait. So normally there'd be a tutorial here telling you what happens when you hold down the uh, left analog stick. Um... Good work, good work, good work. Um, normally there'd be a blue orb in here, but I already collected it, so there isn't. Um... Wait, is the blue orb in this room? I'm pretty sure there is, yeah. Do it! Yes, there's one in the room uh, with the broken wall. If you break the floor, yes, I actually mean to, I actually am intending to get that one because I missed it uh, my my last this time again. through here. It's uh, just here, as I recall. <laughs> That was the force fault, not mine. Oh wait, I did get this one. Huh. I somehow got this one without even knowing I'd already gotten it. There you go. Ah! 
Uh, where are you? Come on, there's another one in here somewhere. I'd have fall down. Yeah, fell down. Nice, nice. Good work, good work. Okay, we got everything else in here, didn't we? There's no... There is a little way out here, but it doesn't really lead to anything except for that. What is it about a good looking guy with a snarky attitude that makes him so appealing? I don't know, you're the one dating me. Um. Yeah. Missing an arm and all. It's the whole bad boy thing. Yep, that's totally what it is. Oh, hello. Well, I guess we're not getting those red orbs at the moment. We go this way. Into this love hotel bedroom. Oh no, what's this weird mysterious mark on the wall? Um, I've already beaten this secret mission, but I'll dive in and show it off anyway. It probably won't take too long, but I will. To be honest, I, to be honest, I, I think um, the hottest of the three in this game is uh, V, but that's just me personally. I'm a sucker for Nick Cave types. Anyway. Um... Yeah. So this is a secret mission, you gotta kill them all in however long it takes you to kill them. Uh, a minute and a half. It's the easiest secret mission in the game by far. Get out of the way! So if you beat the mission the first time you get a blob, but after that you get red orbs. Which is nice. Nick Cave didn't age gracefully. To be fair to Nick Cave, the last couple of years he's been pretty rough. Like... His son dying and all, so... But obviously, yeah, I mean like 90s Nick Cave, not modern day Nick Cave. But I'm willing to give Nick Cave a bit of a free pass because his son died. Uh, that was the way to go. I'm a fool. No, that was not the way to go. Getting lost in character action games. Welcome to my TED yeah. Talk. Wait, you do go this way, don't you? Oh wait, no, hang on, there's a... You know what, I completely missed this open door. I completely missed that that was an open door, and the stupid part of that is that, that happened to me the first time I came into this area too. Look at, look at Mercy up here, healing everyone, behind the scenes. Right 
Come here, Mercy. There we go. Nice, good work, good work, good work. Turn right, yeah. <laughs> the stupid, because it's so dark, like when, you, like, no, come on. Look, take a look at this. If I'm back here, it's really dark, and it really doesn't look like, as you're running past at speed, like I'm moving at, you know, speed, it really doesn't look like there's anything there, right? Like, it just looks like a dark door. I am right about that, right? So it is possible to get across this foyer area and onto that, um, onto that, uh, over there. Um, but I'm not, I'm not skilled enough to do that, but you can get up on that, uh, wall over there, if you know what you're doing. And I probably would have made it then if I had, uh, remembered that you could float while jumping. That you could do that. Eh, yeah, I don't need that overture. Oh no, a wall. Don't worry, I'll soon be playing V and you'll get to see what I'm what what, what it's like when I play a character I'm good at. I mean, literally, V is just mash two buttons until you win, but, uh, yeah. Oh, air taunt. That's right, yeah. Right I haven't really been taunting at all, have I? That's just a good one. Oh, you're not dead. But I killed you. You can actually avoid this battle by jumping over. There's an open window. I'll, I'll get to it, yep. I will get to it. Too late! I'm sorry, I'm really frustrating to- I must be really frustrating to watch. Okay. No, get out of the way of that. So when these guys have that purple stuff coming out of them, they cannot be stunned. So you don't want that to happen to them. So I just let that one hit me then. And again. Zach's thing's got to give you an infection. Yeah, it's kind of odd they don't have a poison property on them. So that open window, um, it's back here, right? Is it? Or is it? It's around here somewhere, isn't it? Or have I missed it? I missed it, haven't I? Yeah, it's fine. I spent a lot of time here trying to work out if you could wall, dump, wall jump or double jump. Oh, there it is. I see it, yeah. Okay. Ah! A blob! Yay! Take that, I should get one. Yeah, I jumped up. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Oh, man. 
getting sick of this. Did I go back that way? I wonder. Wait. I got lost again. I remember where to go, yeah. Oh, no. That's the worst sense of direction. Yeah, for some reason, I'm really struggling at the moment with sense of direction. Ah, oh, that's where I need to go. I forgot about it. See, I kept, I kept forgetting that I needed this. That's all it was, I just forgot about this. It's not so much sense of direction as it is memory. There's a need hog tree. Yeah, yeah, I missed the need hog tree. I found it. It's all good. I kept not seeing it as I went past. You need to understand I wear glasses. I don't have vision in one eye, so. Not gonna lie. I wear glasses. It's okay, once we get up to the levels in hell, I'll just fly through them because I remember all the ways there. I haven't played this level in a while. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Hey, there's a phone here. I wonder what will happen if we answer it. Phone still works. I'm out of water. Tell you what, you call me from now on, and I'll hustle on over. Don't ask. Thanks, guys. Best girl. I mean, the van's basically a character in its own right. I mean, it, it does even actually have a name. Like, if I go around the front, um, there's a cutscene that points this out later, but you can see there, it's actually called the Minotaurus. Hey -ya. I don't think I've got enough orbs to really get much, but yeah. It's skill time. Um, I don't think I've got enough to buy anything at the moment. Like, all the things I need to buy are expensive. Yes, I don't have enemy step, okay? I'm sorry. But I do have... Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm so short of caliber. I'm thinking what I should buy next actually is max act. Nero, have some respect. That's the thing, Nero's actually really antagonistic towards Nico. Anyway, it's time for a boss battle. Enemy step super useful for this fight, yeah. Somebody call a doctor? The game's only been out this week though, that's the problem. Yeah, I remember playing this uh, boss fight in the demo and thinking, geez, this looked amazing. The problem with playing it in the demo though is because you don't have access to many of Nero's abilities. Because um, I, I played it at uh, PAX last year, the PAX demo. Which I think was the demo that came out before the game launched as well. Um, but I remember playing it at PAX and this, this boss. Like, without... You, you have basically only Nero's basic moveset. Like, you don't have any of the abilities you can buy. And boy, was it, like, you know, not fun. King? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Oh boy. Yeah, no offense. Oh boy. I have to turn the camera off because I'm blushing hard now. I am. I show you the wrath. 
It's gotta hide the camera for a moment. Just, you know. There we go. That's yeah, all good. His tummy teeth. So the real question I have about Red Queen is where do you put the petrol in? Because it runs an internal combustion engine, right? Hey, do you do parties? Where does the petrol go? <laughs> yeah, because they're real-time cutscenes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so he gets to keep, like, the arm that he's wearing at the time of the cutscene. You know what I haven't been using at all? Um, color. Color up. And I haven't really been using my combat roll lineup. Come on. I had a dodge now. Because I'm very bad at avoiding the attack, I'm probably going to have to blow up a buster arm when he does his uh, tummy suck. Dodge that though. Nice. Actually doing okay. It was a bit rough at the start though, I'll give it that. I better not. I'll be really annoyed if I do. I've never I've never died to this boss before, so this will be a first if I do. You know what I keep thinking you should be able to do? This boss has cut its tail off. Yeah, I might actually die here. That should be enough. Yeah, behind him. Yeah, we can. Oh no, damn it. actually have to get a glass of water. I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out. I'll grab a glass of water. I'll be back in a sec. Like I, I, 
There we go. I curse my back. scars in pit of grief and woe. That made my look who it is. It's Adam Driver. So low. Yeah, no tail cuts because it's not Monster Hunter World yet. I love how the cane apparently is completely uh, non-magical. Pick you out of his uh, tummy teeth. Pardon my delay. I was catching up on some reading. Yeah, looks like a real page turner. So, uh, you think Dante's still in there? If you're as defeated him, then. In a game full of giant idiot tools, V is the tooliest of them all. He is pretentious as hell, isn't he? It's a tree that grows in the underworld. It thrives on human blood, and those whose blood it sucks, well, let's just say they don't turn out too well. Well, in any case, we need to find out. If Dante's alive, we'll save him. If not, we don't. Wait. First, we need to exterminate some Clifod roots. I love how good Shadow looks, and um, and, and Griffin for that matter. Like the iridescence on Griffin's feathers is really good. But like Shadow's fur just all around us looks fantastic. I know, I know, I'm late. Shut it. The roads were all clogged. Hey, you must be V, huh? Hey, you're gonna get that? Ding, 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 right, right. You know what the real question is? How the neon sign on the side of the van doesn't shatter every time she drives I'm it somewhere. Make something amazing out of this. Did you just sniff that? Do you have any idea where that's been? Up your butt. <sighs> Focus on the mission. It's not a. I don't. I don't think it's a corset. I think yeah. It's a. It's a cincher. self-conscious about his tummy yeah hey rank yeah i'll take it not really yeah I'll, I'll rate him as stylish he seemed he seemed to be styling pretty hard when i looked in on him there's one more mission after this before we get to play as v isn't there Well, there's this mission and then we get to no yes no yes yeah i think we should split into two groups and cover more ground good idea behold my genius <laughs> cash first all the materials I collected for your little pet projects don't count for anything. My brilliant badass work is worth every dime, you know it. <sighs> well, your quality control sucks ass, and you know that. Or maybe don't let the demon smack you around so much. Whatever. <laughs> I am truly gifted. V is totally the emo of emo, though. <laughs> oh, so you're an artist now, huh? Like he is literally the he's literally the face in the picture of the old uh, "Don't Cry Emo Kid" meme. My grandmother was called the 45 caliber virtuoso, legendary gunsmith. I hope to be like her someday, an artist and a lethal artisan. Everything I create is art, whether it's a gun or a steel pot to cook birds in. <laughs> Any more questions? Huh? Little cheeky. I'll take my leave now.
See, V also doesn't like smoking. If I don't see you along the way, I'll see you at the bottom of the Clifard. Sure. What are you gonna do? I gotta shake the cobwebs out. I'll let you know. Hey, you got any more questions? Better ask it now. Hey, how's the uh, video quality holding up, by the way? Ooh, well, yeah. It's been a little while since I've uh, streamed a game with uh, such uh, high quality graphics, so I want to know how my uh, bitrate and everything is holding up with it. Let me know if frames get dropped, but I don't think any have so far. I'm not seeing. Oh, we've dropped 49 frames, okay. That's, that's enough. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, I've got 35k. I'm probably not going to buy any Devil Breakers here. I'll probably just uh, equip the recommended set. Fill that out. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, yeah, that, that seems fine. Um, I don't need to buy any more for the moment because I think I've got a bunch of everything. Um, and I don't have enough to get... Well, I could get Table Hopper 3. I don't really use Table Hopper very well, but... I get that, or I suppose what I really should do is save up for either Enemy Step or, more importantly, probably Max Act. Where's Max Act? Yeah, I think I'll hold off on buying anything for now so I can get Max Act later. Looks fine, but you know, expert on streaming, yeah, yeah. I stream at a reasonably high bitrate for a 720p stream. Um, like four and a half megabits per second is decent. Like, you need about three and a half to four megabits for a 720p stream, uh, generally. That's what Twitch recommends. Um, I could stream at 1080p, but only if I did it at 30 frames per second. So, my, my options are basically 1080p 30 or 720p 60, and I feel like most people, unless I'm unless I'm actually streaming a 30 FPS game, I feel like most people prefer 720p 60. Um, and let's face it, most people don't watch uh, Twitch full screen anyway. All right, so. Move out. <sighs> game seemed yeah better for 60. So yeah. much for teamwork. I love that one of the character details is like, it's a big thing that Dante and Virgil never swear, and to show Nero is like a rebellious youth compared to them without making him edgelord, he's the character that actually swears, yeah. Doesn't Dante swear in this game though? Like, they, they're actually decided, nah, he's just gonna swear now. I mean, V wouldn't swear because swearing is too emotional for him. Hi, robots! I like that the series finally has monster introductions like that, but honestly, it could, ta it could use a few more lessons from Bayonetta in how to make them cool. Don't take damage there. And yeah, punchline's freaking awesome. I love that punchline just sits there and styles on the enemy while you do. Whoa. Wow. I didn't even hit the enemy. <laughs> that was a disaster. So, I want everyone, uh, in case you're not aware, I want everyone to pay attention to that chimney and those shipping containers over there. They will be important later. Yeah. Think I'll handle the closer one first. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, this mission goes on for ages too, doesn't it? Okay, orbs. There's another punchline there, which is handy. So punchline has a thing, um... Oh, no. Yeah, has a thing where you can, um, ride it if I... Off you go! this I'll come back and Wait, how do I jump on it just jump on it don't I no anyway you can ride punchline it's really cool I have done it I just don't remember how 
Oh, is it the one? You have to hold down, don't you? Get in there! Come on! There we go. That's right. So you can surf on it. Unfortunately, this level's full of annoying invisible walls, so surfing on it doesn't really work very well, but you can definitely do that. Uh, unfortunately, doing that uh, for us blows up a punchline. I think I think that blew it up. Where was the, uh, where's the next one? Wait, this building doesn't have a next one, does it? Get those orbs. Yeah, hold it while it's out. Yeah. This, this level's not the best level to show it off because this level's actually full of invisible walls. Oh, hey, look what happened. So the pipe that I pointed out before collapsed and opened up this part of this building. Get up. I still want to make it clear that I am not pretending to be good at this game. And I, I think the video evidence is quite clear on that fact. You never saw this bit open up. I actually had it happen when I played through it. I could see it, but I never went back to go to under here, so it's my first time going under here. But yeah, um, that big chimney I pointed out before collapses onto this area. You actually, when you do V's mission, you, you'll see it, you'll do it. Um, and yeah, it collapses onto this area and opens that part of the building up. And V is probably somewhere around there, although given the rate I'm going through this level, he's probably all the way over there somewhere now. There's also that area over there, um, which I can't remember how to get to right now. Wait, no, uh, it's... I go... Ah, oh, yeah, I, I remember how to get... No, I don't want to go that... No, I don't want to go that way because that just leaves me back. Damn it. Now I have to go all the way back around. Damn. That is not the way to go. I remember how to get to that area. I just... Uh, it, it's a little bit deceptive because you've got to go a little bit further to get back there. Um, so we'll do that. Yeah, there's V up there. I just saw flashes of V combat. We go this way and we'll grab health. So one neat thing, yeah, there we go. V, v just collapsed that bridge. Um, I think if you get there before that bridge collapses, you can actually access another area too. Um, but unfortunately we haven't made it in time. I think if I got here, there'd be another area there. So this Clyfod, screw it. We're taking. I, I love the mechanic. Yeah, like like there's an area um, with V. Yeah, so you're going going to bed. Good night. Good night. You're gonna stream Sunless Skies tomorrow. Yeah, you can do that. Um, but yeah, you can actually get to. I think it's that area over there. If the bridge hasn't collapsed when you get here, there is also this thing up here. trick is to do it on the rise. Just hold off. Down, go back up. Now. And get over here. 
Nope, there it is. Combat adjudicators. Oh yeah, th this game doesn't have them, does it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, I I know I know the opinion of combat adjudicators is kind of mixed. Um, I think was there something else over here that I could have got to, or was it just over? Nah, it's just this building here that I didn't get to. But those red orb things are kind of combat adjudicators. Like, they're not as complex as those things. Um, they're really just DPS checks, I guess. Um, but that's, I guess, kind of what's supposed to replace them in this game. Because, yeah, if you don't, uh, obviously if you don't destroy those, uh, quick enough, they turn black and you can't get things. Okay, we're gonna have to press forward now. Good news is I have enough, uh, robes for max act. One thing I really appreciate is that if you pick up um, green or white orbs um, and you're already full on uh, health or devil trigger, um, they just convert to red orbs. I think that's a really cool thing. So you, there's always a reason to pick them up. Now the roots are in. Orb DP. Yeah, they were two in four, weren't they? Yeah. My girlfriend thinks I need to work on my style a bit. She's not wrong, but maybe not in the way she thinks. Stop spamming hookshot. <laughs> but it's such a fun thing to use. I, I just love abilities like that. I think what it is, is because in Bayonetta, circle is also a combat button. Like, you have a light and a heavy in Bayo. Um, and I'm used to that. Or well, it wouldn't be circle, I guess it'd be A in Bayo if you're playing on, like, the Switch. I'm definitely way more used to the way Bayo plays than the way this plays. Also, yes, I know this exists. I didn't get this the first time on my way through, but I did now. But I think that's all that's in here, isn't it? There's nothing, uh, nothing else in here, is there? 
Actually, to be honest, as far as character action games go, the one I actually cut my teeth on wasn't Bayonetta or Devil May Cry. It was... It was actually, if you want to count it as that kind of game, Ninja Gaiden on the original Xbox. Out of the way! Whoa, what? Cool. You actually damage enemies like this? I don't even know how I've done this. There we go. Now we get the real combat. I do appreciate that you can actually attack enemies before they fully teleport in too. sharp objects. Air torn. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh, oh. Need to do that. Still got me to over to you, so that's fine. Especially because I'm probably going to lose. Here. I like that overture, which is, in a normal game, is the first, um, the first arm you get. I like that it's just a good all-round arm. Like, it has a really useful ability, it does decent damage, it's just really good. I shot that too early. the details of the arms. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool detail as well, that they're all on his belt. Bingo. Okay, there is a secret mission in here. We're probably not going to do it. Because it's the, um, what's this secret mission? Is this the collect the red orbs one? No, it's the, um, ah, uh, it's the kill the, uh, that punchline. It's the kill the um, um, uh, red impusers one. That's right. Mega Buster. Nice. Hit! 
we drop all the way down to the bottom uh, for those who've never seen it. Go back here. Line that up. There is a secret mission. It is. I'm not going to do that one because I cleared it. It's nightmarish to do. I mean, it's not, but I just. Uh, it's not as satisfying to do as the first one. But there it is there. Probably gonna have to make this the last mission before I call it a stream too tonight, because uh, I gotta be up early tomorrow. Well, early by my standards anyway. So I'm probably gonna leave it after this. As much as I want to do the next mission, because it means playing as a V, probably gonna have to wait till next week on that one. I hate these things. I hate fighting even more as V though. Here. I love how much environmental destruction you can do in this area. I'm trying to clear these bookshelves out so that I've got some space. Oh, I thought I had Mega Buster up. Oops. Is there a trick to fighting these things other than just like hitting them until they die? Like there is some kind of trick to breaking that guard, isn't there? By the way, Helder Skeleton is actually really good. To be honest, I don't think there's gen a genuinely bad fist other than maybe Pastor Breaker. Like, I think all of them are like kind of useful for something. There we go. Whenever their face is glowing red. I think that's what I did to the first one, isn't it? Because it died all of a sudden, even though it had a heap more health. I think I just did it then, too. Because that thing still had half its life bar when I did that. This environmental destruction here. Man. I mean, it tanks, it tanks my poor PS4 Pro's frame rate, but... Uh, these are orbs. Stuff around here. There's another punchline, and there's some more cash money. And I think if I'm good, which I'm not, I can actually jump onto those lights. Well, the only two of them have um, have stuff. There's a mega box here. Cool. Should be good then. Oh, really? You know what the trick here is? Do that. Yeah, perfect. I think that's it for this room, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Keep going. Ah, uh, yeah, you get the, the parry. Yeah. I, I have no sense of timing, so yeah. So this fight's gonna be really fun for me. Can't protect anything. I know that. That chair confuses me because every time I see it, I think it's an exploding gas tank. You're up, Nico. This thing must have the most amazing suspension. 
There's no such thing as too prepared. Hey, I can get max sacks. Do I get enemy step? Actually, you know, in this fight, enemy step might actually be better. Because this fight's all about the enemy step. I want that. Or I really want max act, though. Uh, nah, I reckon the enemy step's going to be more useful, especially here. I'll get that. Pains me. Boy, does it pain me. But I did it. I got enemy step. So I know so I know at least one person in chat will be happy. I love that this boss is actually like one of the weapons from the previous game. Well, not the previous game. I think it's from Devil May Cry 3, isn't it? Like, there's a weapon called Artemis in DMC 3. I might end up using a Gorb on this boss, we'll see. What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? Come on. And having the extra range on, um, having the extra range on the grab makes this fight actually a bit easier than it was the first time I did it. Ah! Messed that up though. Those swoops are annoying. Talk to a different bar star. Actually, yeah, I'm fine. Because punchline actually would do really well in this fight, I bet.
hard. Probably. Damn it. Well, I turned him into health. That's handy. Ow. Whoa, get away. Good work, good work. Whew. Good fight. It'd be cool if you do stuff like that in combat, though. Like, if I had that wall run, I probably wouldn't have done any better. Oh no, it's a naked lady. Dante's friend. It's Lady. You know her? <laughs> From a gunsmith days. Uh. What? I <sighs> can't believe you do this to Kyrie. I'm gonna have to tell her, man. I'm joking. I love how he's just like, oh my god, what? <laughs> Don't do anything I would do. Chicka bow wow, well, chicka bow wow. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Kyrie would kill me right now. <sighs> Surely Kyrie would understand. Like, she's not some anime, harem anime girl who thinks that that's a problem. Oh, look at me getting A rank. Yeah, A rank in all the missions. Yeah, I'm sure that guy was stylish. I'm gonna have to leave it there for tonight because uh, I gotta go to bed. Um, as much as I'd like to keep playing, um, yeah, I need sleep. So, remember when they put a wall run in Devil May Cry? Oh, did Devil May Cry 2 actually have wall running? Wow. As I said before, one thing I'm really used to in this kind of game is the original Ninja Gaiden, which um, is a very different style of play to this. One can only hope. But for now... Kyrie was literally raised in a religious cult. I bet she has some messed up... Yeah, you're probably right. Messed up ideas on nudity. Yeah. With this cool man. With this cool bird. Of course he has the bird, though. Like, of all the Devil May Cry 1 bosses they could have given him as a summon, of course one of them had to be Griffin. The cult that worships Sparta, yeah. Oh, okay, if you dodge into the wall, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Well, you didn't really dodge, but uh, Ninja Guy, of course, had the wall flip where you could do the flippy jumps up the walls um, and stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna... I, there's no real point to doing this, but I'm gonna try and spend... See if there's anything I can spend on, uh, V. I think I've got most of his stuff. I don't have his enemy step yet. I don't really want green gainer. White gainer. Oh, am I missing anything from you? No, not that I can afford. What about shadow? I still don't have skewer. I'm like 2,000 short. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. Um, cause I gotta sleep, I'm gonna be up at like 8 in the morning, which I know is not late for a lot of people, but it's later than usual for me, cause I go to bed at, you know, 2am. But tonight I gotta go to bed a bit earlier, so, um, I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. Um, I appreciate everyone tuning in. Um, don't bother with enemy step for V. Trigger Heart, though. Yeah, I got Trigger Heart. Trigger Heart's really good. Is that a Sonic reference? Shadow has a move called Hedgehog. Did you only just pick on pick up on that? The Shadow has the Hedgehog. <laughs> I mean, it probably isn't, but boy, is it. <laughs> it's definitely one of those things, for sure. 
Um, yeah, I appreciate everyone uh, tuning in tonight. Um, I think uh, with tonight's viewer numbers, I probably ticked over the uh, viewer count I need to get uh, Twitch affiliate status. So that will be a nice thing. Um, so I do appreciate that. And as always, this is going to be a full LP. Like I said before, I'm going to do this like every Thursday until I beat the game. Um, so it'll probably be a couple of weeks, like maybe four or five weeks. Um, just on a Thursday night, uh, in place of what I'm let's playing on the rest of the week. So, like, Sunday to Wednesday, it'll be Final Fantasy IX at the moment, and then this on Thursday. And everything will go up on YouTube, and it'll all be good. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see you all, uh, hopefully this week I will actually do a Sunday night stream. I haven't been able to, I've been meaning to the last two Sundays and stuff's come up and I haven't been able to. This Sunday I hope to be doing a stream on Sunday. So, uh, in the meantime, thank you all for watching. I will see you all later.